It's that time again for the Savannah Real Estate Market Update. I'm going to go through 11 of the most important real estate statistics that you must know in order to keep informed and make well-informed and smart decisions on anything that has to do with real estate. Or when you're out with your friends and you just want to sound wicked smart, you can toss around some really cool sounding statistics. Stay tuned. Statistic number one is sales price. This is the one that everybody focuses on. And home prices in Savannah, Georgia, in the Savannah, Georgia area, went from 320,831 to, they went down slightly, they went down to $320,000 even. Statistic number two is the median price per square foot, that basically otherwise known as the price per square foot. That stayed flat, pretty much the same went from 171 per square foot to $174 per square foot. Next, there are the days on market. Now, days on market, this is how long it takes the average house to sell when it's listed. That went from 38 days to 36 days. So that's down slightly, which is good, means that houses are selling faster. Number four, total number of homes for sale. That went from 2,162 up to 2,260. That's up slightly, but about half the inventory that we've had in the past. New listings went from 1,099 to 1,032. Number six, month supply of homes for sale. This stayed flat, went from 2.4 to 2.5, so roughly the same, okay? What this represents, this number represents, is the total of month supply of homes for sale that we have at 2.5, which means that it would take 2.5 months to sell all the inventory that we have on the market right now. And normally, that's around five to seven months. So as you can see, that is substantially lower than what's been historical. Number seven is pending sales. Pending sales, these are next month's sold and closed homes. That went from 952 down to 832. That's a little low for this time of the year, but this is a, a leading indicator, and it is surprising that it's down this time of the year. Next is closed sales. These are actually the homes that have sold and closed during the month. That went from 895 to 778. That's down slightly, especially again for this time of the year. Coming in at number nine, showings per listing. Now this is a statistic that is very rarely talked about because it's really not well publicized, but this showings per listing, it went from 5.6 to 5.4. Now let me tell you why it's important. This is showing us that every listing had 5.4 buyers walk through it, meaning that 5.4 on average, 5.4 buyers looked at each listing, physically went out and looked at it. Now this is a reflection of the total number of buyers actually in the market. So the higher this number, the more buyers. The more buyers, the more offers, the more offers, the more homes sold. One thing I can tell you is that we work very hard to market our listings and we receive anywhere from 25 to 30 showings per listing for our clients, well above the average of 5.4. Number 10, median showings per pending. Now what this is, is this is the number of showings it takes buyers to walk through the house to get an offer or to get the house under contract and get it sold. And right now, median showings to pendings is nine, okay? Again, this is a number that's important because this shows you how many people are actually looking at the houses before you get an offer and you sell your house. So remember, the average that we have with our listings is 25 to 35 showings per, sh per listing which means we're getting multiple offers on all of our listings. So that's a wrap for the monthly market update and the 11 most important statistics that you need to know for the Savannah real estate market. Remember, I would love to be your real estate agent to help you with all of your real estate buying and selling needs. So call me at 912-844-9000 if you have any questions or message me on any of the social media platforms that you see this video on. And as always, thanks for watching.